Um, this is a response to Max. Um, in his video, he uh, is talking about transitioning um, while not being out uh, to most people. Um, I'm actually in that same boat. Um, I mean, I'm not in the process of uh, hormone treatment like Max's. I don't take testosterone yet. Um, hopefully, in, oh, within the next few months, I'll start. I don't know. Uh, it depends on my doctor and, and therapist and everything. But right now, um, as you can tell, I dress fairly masculine. I mean, I, I wear men's clothes um, just like Max does. Uh, yeah, I wear men's clothing. Um, I'm not out, per se. Uh, according to, well, people don't know that I'm bi gender. People don't know that I'm in the process of getting ready to take hormones to masculine, masculine, not in that, to, to make myself look more male. <laughs> Sorry, English today, out the window. Anyway, um, When you're transitioning, but you're not out yet, um, the only way that I've been able to keep myself feeling comfortable about my about myself and how I act and everything. I mean, being bi gendered, I can kind of, if I have to, I can force myself into female. Um, today I'm androgynous. I'm, I'm kind of a mixture of male, female, more on the male side. But, yeah, I mean, when I'm out and about, I mean, when I'm in public, and I'm in male mode, um, well, yeah, I, I pretty much act as male. Uh, I'll go into male toilets uh, in public. Uh, that's grocery stores, supermarkets, in town center. And for the most part, people don't look twice. Uh, you just go in, make a beeline for the, the stall, do your business, and leave. Um, don't make eye contact, don't talk. And, you know, like I said, people don't look twice. Um, especially for binding, because uh, it gives you a little bit of a, a male appearance. And... If, if you don't want to bind, I mean, I, I suggest binding, uh, at least trying it, trying it out when, you know, when you go grocery shopping or when you're just putting around the house. Um, that's what I did at first. Uh, I wore, as soon as I got my binder, I put it on, um, wore it around the house for a day. Uh, only, I mean, I, I have a, a zippered binder. It zips up in the front, which I've actually found to be the most comfortable. Um, so the first time I got my binder, as soon as I got it, I put it on and I zipped it up halfway. Well, that allowed my ribs, because the binder really puts a, it puts a bit of pressure on your ribs, on your rib cage. Uh, so like, yeah, I, I wore it half, zipped up halfway uh, to allow my body to get gradually used to it. And by the end of the day, I had it zipped up all the way. Um, and then took it off in the evening put it back on the next morning, and did it again, half, zipped halfway up for a couple of hours till I got used to it, and then zipped up all the way for the rest of the day. Um, now, if you don't want to bind, or like if you're going to work, uh, and you don't bind at work, obviously, I mean, if you bind, people kind of, if they're used to seeing, if, yes, someone, people that you have day-to-day -day contact with, if they're used to seeing something up front, they're going to look twice if you're flat. So um, I can understand not wanting to bind if you're at work um, completely. Um, I'm saying um a lot today. Ugh. But for the most part, when I'm in public, I'm not around people that I see on a daily basis. And I'm in male mode. Then I act um, accordingly. Uh, People don't look twice. I will have people, you know, that I 
talk to you, call me love, and my voice is a dead giveaway anyway. Um, people, you know, taxi drivers, they know me. Uh, sad to say, <laughs> the taxi drivers in this area know me. They all call me love. Uh, I could probably be wearing a beard and they'd still call me love, you know. <laughs> but hey, um, yeah, for the most part, the only advice that I can give is just that at, at work, try to use, um, to, to keep the dysphoria away, try to use unisex restroom facilities wherever possible for disabled, because they're usually unisex. Um, if you have to use the, you know, female to male transition, uh, trans transgenders, if you have to use the female restroom and you feel more male that day, try to think of it as being the male restroom. That That's kind of the way I do it. Um, I don't look at the sign, I just walk in, do what I need to do, walk out, and I just keep repeating to myself, this is the male restroom, this is the male restroom, this is the male restroom, um, whether it is or isn't. And it kind of helps a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I, I do, when I'm in male mode, I don't like going into the women's restrooms, strictly because I feel, it feels wrong. And, and that's society for you, uh, separating everything by gender. Men go here, women go here. Ugh. Um, it's really annoying. But yeah, it's society, isn't it? Um, that's really the only only thing I can say. Uh, I mean, really, Max, that, that's it. Uh, good luck with you. Um, I really hope you, you're able to sort it out, or at the very least, maybe, maybe not come out at work completely. Um, being in stealth, it, it, stealth is it's hard to, to do. Uh, but that, I mean, yeah, that's how I, how I manage to do things uh, when I'm in stealth. People see me as female, so I'll, I'll use the female restrooms like at my son's school. Um, I am Paul's mother. So yeah, uh, I use the female restrooms. Keep, keep muttering under my breath, this is a male restroom, this is a male restroom, I belong here, I'm okay. Uh, and get out as soon as possible. Um, I actually have, there's one day I went into a female toilet um, in public restroom uh, while I was just like this, but I felt more female than I did male. So it was just, I didn't even think about it. I just nipped into the women's toilet and I actually, a woman actually looked at me three times uh, as I was ex exiting the stall and checking to make sure my hat was still firmly attached to my head and make sure that you know, I didn't have any little wisps of hair escaping like I do right now. Um, she actually looked at me and she went like that and then looked closer and then kind of puzzled look as I was walking out. Um, I, I like to think that's one of the few times that I've actually passed as male without meaning to. Um, or very least, is that a man or a woman look, you know, which I found hilarious. Anyway, I am running out of time. So um, that's all I can say is be yourself. If you can, go into the male toilets. If you can't, like at work, uh, go in a unisex toilet, disabled toilet, or uh, last yeah, if you have to go into the women's toilets and just keep repeating to yourself that it's okay, it's just a sign, it's just a label, it doesn't mean anything, really. Peace.